Hey, what is going on you guys? Dale here from Freedom of Gamer. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Halo 5 Guardians. So, I know it's been a while since I played Halo 5, but um, I know a majority of you guys have enjoyed me playing the campaign. But this time, we are going online. Um, so, yeah, this will be um, a while since I've been um, on Halo Online. So, this will be my first time re actually recording it. Um, so... Without further ado, let's get on with today's video, so we've got to go ahead and connect. Black Compact. Um, for you, four of your favourite classic Halo titles will be playable on the Xbox One this year. Well, I wasn't done reading that. Um, okay, so Halo 4 will be backwards compatible. So we're getting all the old maps and that as well. Cool. Alright, cool. We're in a season. RTX 2 is Ranked snipers. Snipers make sense for Tunting Hill of Fire as a ranked playlist for July and August. July and August, cool. Um, we've got odd ball as well. But, right, anyway, um, we're gonna go ahead and open our pack. So, with Halo 5, um, each time you log on to Halo 5, you get a daily login pack. Um, it's a silver one that you unlock. Um, you can also purchase um, bronze ones and gold ones as well. Um, some of them cost you rec points, as you can see in the bottom right there. Um, some of them you have to actually buy um, with actual money. Um, but with each time you log on to Halo 5, you unlock a daily logon pack, unless you've got um, the unlimited edition um, Halo 5, where uh, so you get three rec packs um, when you log in. Um, you get one for the lights of the week. Um, I'm not too sure what the other ones are. I can't remember. But we just got the standard edition Halo 5, so uh, we'll go ahead and open our daily login pack. So, so what did we get? We got 200 rec points, um, damage boost, uh, Blades of Gory, which is a shotgun, uh, Ultra Rear, um, Warthog, and Gambit um, Medal Kit. Which is a real. So we'll go ahead to Spartan Appearance. So with Spartan Appearance, we've got um, all your different armors. So there's 229 armors to collect. Um, I've got 17 of those. So what we've got, we've got the Legionnaire. Um, recruit is the first one that you get. Um, well, first one that everybody gets. Uh, Warrior Helm, Warrior. Antwan, um, is that Breaker or Breaker? Um, Freebooter, Dynast, Goblin, Nomad, Seeker, Pioneer, Tracer, Warrior Blade, Noble, um, Cypher, and Tracker. Tracker, but it's not too bad. What one am I wearing just now? I'm wearing the goblin one at the moment because that kind of stands out. Um, underneath that, you've got helmets. Um, there's 240 helmets to collect, so you got a nib. What ones have I got? Nibis, Recruit, Warrior, Dynast, Athlon, Aerosol, Enforcer, Fenner, Goblin. Pathfinder. The Pathfinder one's quite smart. I think that's a quite tiny one. Um, there was also um, a rec pack that you can purchase with. Um, you get all the original Halo helmets um, from the Halo games. Um, I bought it, um, so I'm just trying to remember which one's the bot again. Um, Nomad, Legionnaire, um, Seeker, Stinger, Tracer. 
Anubis set, uh, Warrior Blade, Vector, um, CQB, I think that was one of them. Um, EOD, that's one of them. Noble, uh, Recon, Pilot, that's a rare one. Um, Operator Gen 1, I think that was one of them as well. Recon Gen 1, Security Gen 1, Strider. Um, that was my recent one that I unlocked, which was um, which is an ultra rare helmet called the Rogue um, Cutthroat. So it's quite a cool one. Uh, military Police, that's an ultra rare one. Um, Eva Gen 1. And I got a Legendary, which is the Master Chief helmet, which is the Mark V Delta. Um, with the visors, you can unlock visors as well. There's 63 visors to unlock, but unfortunately I've not unlocked any of them yet. Um, you can also choose what kind of colours you want. So I've went with the uh, red and a uh, blue, just to make it stand out. Um, with the armour, it's got a bit of purple in it as well, so it stands out a bit differently from the others. So we've got Spartan ID as well, um, this allows you to change your emblem, emblem colours, um, stance. So with each one um, you can unlock stances as well by unlocking rec packs. So I've unlocked two at the moment, so I've got the Hammer Time which is an ultra rare. But, and I've got the Grim Resolve which is an uncommon. Um, you also get different types of assassinations as well. Um, so I've got a legendary which is long dart, um, I've got wind up which is a rare and I've got the default one. Um, so these two are kind of the best ones but I've put on long dart and um, assassinations are quite to do it um, these days. You also got a uh, gender, you can change your gender to male or female um, and you get to choose what kind of service tag that you want. So I've made it Scotland because of the with me being in Scotland so um also you get to choose your weapon skins as well so and with the assault rifle I've unlocked two so I've got um is that scratched and I got monstrous which is like a spider one. So that's the one that I've got equipped for the assault rifle at the moment it's pretty cool. Um it's like a spider on it, it's quick smart. Um, battle rifle, I've got a um, green machine and I've got um, last on. Um, I kind of like, I prefer the green rather than the orange, but the orange is pretty cool as well. Um, for the DMR, I've got um, the blue steel equipped. Um, this is the new one that I unlocked, which is master control. Um, I've not equipped that one yet, no, it's pretty tidy. Oh. Go ahead and click that. Um, SMG, I've got uh, Dream and I've got Blue Steel. Um, put the Blue Steel one on. And then I've got the Magnum, um, I've got a Not to Rare one and I've got the Rare UNSC one. Um, down here you got the Requisitions. Um, so you can go along to collection and that allows you to see which ones that you've got. So you've got customization, so let's say your helmet, armor, visor, emblem, stats, assassination, and weapon skins, and nipsers. Nipsers is one that you can unlock, so um, with this, um, I think you've got to purchase these ones, I'm not 100% sure. Um, um, you can customize your loadout. Um, um, with every one you get uh, power weapons as well, so as you can see I've unlocked a fair majority of them. There's the odd one or two that I've started to collect, so got an ultra rare one there to start to collect. Another ultra rare there. Um, a legendary one there. Legendary. Um, rare. Legendary. Ultra rare. Ultra rare. Legendary. So I try to aim for at least having one of these unlocked. Just like to have one of these, but on the odd one I got um, two, so or even three. <laughs> um, you, with these weapons, you can also sell them, but I kind of just keep them in the collection at the moment. So 
I've tried to unlock all these weapons, but some of them are quite hard to unlock. Um, over here you get lots of random ones as well, so it'll give you like a random weapon when you're um, playing online. Um, so yeah, there's quite a few um, weapons that I've still to unlock. Um, vehicles. Um, so, what? Banshees. Um, you get now, this is the cool thing uh, with the, your vehicles uh, and your weapons, is you get different variants of them. So, with each one, they look different, so different colour. Uh, I don't know if why, if they do, like, say, more damage or what. Um, if you wonder what the five and that means, uh, beside um, the Banshee, that's what, um, like, say, level you got to... Um, board cup to in order to um, unlock this vehicle in the game in order to use it uh, um, if you like to say so with the Banshee um, you've got to get up to level 5 before you can actually use it in the game I know it kind of sucks but this is just a whole new system that um, the guys that have made Halo um, have came up with so um got different variants of what hogs so like so this one's got like I think um, a cannon on it like a real real gun sort of cannon um, got different variants of ghosts uh, got the gone goose and um, you got your different types of mantis um, so I've got three different types of mantis um, which is pretty cool they come in handy later on if you'd like to play it online um, a random vehicle. Uh, got one of the what hogs with the rockets on it. Um, get different types of scorpions as well. So you got um, the normal scorpion. Um, I've unlocked one of the legendary scorpions. Um, I've unlocked pretty much near enough every type of what hog except from that gun one there. Um, still to unlock any of the wasps um, that you've got two of the um, this here but yeah there's quite a lot of stuff to unlock and uh, you also get power-ups as well um, so you got your active calm down here you got your damage boost stuff got your over shield and you got your speed boost so uh, I've only got three of them to still unlock for power-ups um, you also get boosts um, you get um, arena ones and you get warzone ones um, these are the arena ones, so let's say these help um, you to let's say level up a bit quicker or let's say get um, more points in a certain game. Um, I've still got four of them to unlock. Um, same with, I've got three, no, four to unlock for the war zone stuff as well. But I, I barely ever use these. Um, I kind of let's say want to do it the legit way. So, um, also that's a thing as well, um, you've got my packs, and this allows you to um, view your um, requisition packs, um, if you unlock any later on, it'll, they'll all go there for the unlocking. Um, you also get the store, like I said, um, so you got uh, what's on offer, so we've got um, the voices, um, so we've got, let's say, your different types of announcers, but um, with this one you got to buy, um, same with, uh, let's say, these gold ones here, and um, that one's selling for a discounted price at the moment. Um, or you got, let's say, as you can see, you got the 10,000, or you can pay £2.39 to unlock that one. Um, the 10,000 means your rec points, like I said, um, they're in the bottom right there, so I've got 7,000 at the moment. Um, so, the best rec packs to kind of go for are the gold and silver ones. Um, with the silver ones, it's mainly more vehicles and weapons. On the odd occasion, you will unlock the, the odd armour. But if you're more interested in trying to unlock armor, I suggest going with the gold pack. And the gold packs are pretty much better. Um, 
after this gold, gold pack, um, yeah, as you can see, it says giftable um, down there as well. That means um, if you purchase it, you can give it to someone, um, someone that's in desperate need of it, and you can uh, offer that to them. Um, they might offer you one in return, um, etc. So, um, as you can see, it's got X there if you want to assign that as a gift to someone, um, but we're not too worried about that. Um, bronze ones are mainly like say, your weapons and vehicles, um, they're not very good and they don't give you as good of stuff as the silver and the gold ones. Also, um, what I've been told is um, if you get up to a certain level, you will. Um, so, if you get up to a certain level, you, you start off like a. Um, with every rank up, you get like say, bronze ones that you. bronze packs um, for every rank up that you do. And then, if you get up to a certain level, it'll move up to silver and then gold, etc. Um, so, I've been told, but whether that's true, I do not know. Um, as you can see, these are ones that you can buy, but we're not too worried about that. But anyway, um, let's not be talking um, of that. We are going to go ahead and jump into. What will we jump into? We'll jump into Warzone. Um, with Warzone, I I like these ones. So the star ones are like so the featured ones. So these um, allow you to level up a bit uh, quicker. Um, so as you can see, you got heroic, legendary, mythic, and um, these are all the different types of um, types of difficulty that you can go up to. Mythic being the hardest, legendary second hardest, and heroic being um, kind of the lower. Uh, one and um, heroic is usually the one that I go with. Um, or you got let's say your standard war zone, or you got your standard war zone assault. But we're going to go ahead with heroic. So we'll see how well we do um, if I unlock anything. So with war zone, um, you only get you get up to eight people that can play it in war zone. Um, I prefer playing Warzone because it helps you level up a hell of a lot quicker than um, your basic standard modes for online. Um, but yeah, I definitely prefer um, playing the Warzone. So with Warzone, um, you are just in a team um, to get the highest kills. Um, what you have to do is you've got to take out like say, the Covenant and the Prometheans. Um, with each level you get a different task to do um, if you complete that task you will move on to the next level I believe there are five levels in total um, that you got to complete in order to complete um, the game mode so we'll wait and see how well we do so on each map um, you got a requisition station that allows you to um, go and get your vehicles in game and um, it also allows you to swap your weapons and that as well so yeah um, also um, you get an achievement if you play on all of these warzone maps and um, I've unlocked the achievement already for that so um, we are a level 36 so as you can see there's a console there so that allows you to to swap your weapons so we'll go ahead and access that so I think it's the long range one that I go with. And that one that I go with. Right, so let's go. So let's go and look for some aliens, shall we? So you can chuck grenades by pressing um, LB. Ah, it's been a while since I played this. That's my kill. Ah, bitch. So, it's round, I believe, are about what, five minutes or something? Shields recharge. 
Ow, 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 ow. So uh, actually, because it's kind of hard, I um, unlocked level two wrecks. So um, I'll show you what I mean by level two wrecks. So these are like so, um, the weapons that you unlock at level two, uh, vehicles that you unlock at level two. You've got like some power ups and that. So with each round. Uh, boom, bitch! That was a good kill. Ah shit, fucking, fucking ghost behind us, I didn't realise there was a ghost right there. So, my feet surround, the timer goes up for your respawn, which kind of sucks, I know. Why can't they just stick with the, with the normal timer? So, by the looks of it, we've got to kill the, these elites. So one of them's almost dead. I'm going to go ahead and go and kill this one. So what I've been told is another thing as well. <laughs> really? Wow. Another thing that I've been told um, when version um, the Covenant has picked up their weapons and needs their own weapons against them. Um, it kind of works at times, um, not all the time, but majority of the time it does. So I'm trying to remember the buttons. Oh, that's for the ground pound. So, uh, to do the ground pound, it's A and then press um, RB, I believe. And then you've got the shoulder bars, which is um, by holding B. Come on in. Ah. Where did it go? Ah, oh, you bastards! We're six at the one. I would have liked to do slightly better, but we are six at the moment, and that's not good. Get up here. So reload on bullets, or etc. So we are on round three already, so we've got to defend, defend this place now. So we're up again. Ow, fuckers. Ow! What the f- No, you don't! Oh, you motherfucker. So, this is what I hate. I hate the Prometheans because they're sneaky little punts and they kind of gangbang you. Yeah, you heard me gangbang you. Why the hell did you spot me all the fucking way over here? Mm, someone's using a fuel rod. So I'll just take one of their guns. Upstairs, fuck.
prefer to use the ones from now, and these are like so. This one's using an energy sword. Fuck off! As you can see, I am a little bit rusty. It's later on that you get the, the get the better kills. Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck off you! Oh shit! Fuck you! 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 I was wondering about that, I was fucking up. Ow! Pass me out the road, why don't you, you bastard? Well, must be up, it must be downstairs. Can I want to fucking leave? We're still last. GP. One minute left. Only a couple targets left. So it's later on that I prefer um, to kind of rank up. Because later on you get like say the big boss fights, um, so th this might be a boss fight in this round. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure, so we'll just wait and see. Um, this map isn't the greatest of maps. Um, don't really like playing on this map. So yep, this is a boss. This is a boss one. So. Kind of damage you a bit. So take out your armor a bit. Ah, fucker! So we took out his armor a wee bit and gave him a couple of damage. So we got elite generals to take out by the looks of it. Uh, there are some uh, hunters, I believe, which isn't a good thing. If we take out the elite generals first, that kind of works. So, I'm going to go ahead and try and go for the elite generals. Whether or not that is the greatest of the ideas, because I do know there are a couple of. Ah, ah, no. No, I'm getting shot badly. No. Fuck you. So there's elite generals over here. No! Fucking elite! I want to get them elite generals. Let me over there so I can get at least one of the elite generals. Oh, that's bullshit! Alright, come on. At least let me get this last one.
There he is, there he is, there he is. Say hello. Ah, fuck. Come! Haha! <laughs> got you, bitch. Fucking got him. So that'll. That'll help me out a bit. You know, I picked up this fuel rod, so hopefully we can do a bit of damage with this. So hopefully I can do a bit of damage with this later on, in this round. Incoming Prometheans. So I've got Prometheans inbound, so they're going to land right there. So the soldiers, first ones. So I took out one of the soldier enforcers. So probably get knights this time, and they're going to spawn indoors by the looks of it. Yep, they're, they're knights. Knights are the harder ones to defeat because they're real annoying bastards. They take they take a good while to kill, so they're all in there by the looks of it. So as you can see, everybody's got vehicles now. <laughs> ah, no, there's a, there's a knight behind you, you dumbass. No! Where the fucker? Where the hell did that come from? Oh, you jummy little fucker! So it's the scatter shots that you gotta look out for. Because they got fucking shotguns and I did not like them. As I, could, as I said, knights are little arseholes. Well, not little, but are arseholes. So they're all grouped over there by the looks of it. So there's three of them by, uh, by the looks of it. Uh, one of them looks like he's outdoors, there he is there. So we'll go and help out the guys watch this one. We'll chuck in a couple of grenades in it. We'll just gang up on this one. No! Oh god, I was doing... I was doing well. I was doing well on that one. Well, no, no, it didn't give me the kill for that. Come on, we need a respawn. Come on, we need to respawn. We need to respawn. Cause at the moment we're currently sitting in last. This isn't great. We need to get in there, boys. See, if I finish last, I am not happy. So the, the last one's over here. So we're all ganging up on them then. Yes, we got the legendary kill for that, but we still finished last, which isn't the greatest. So, we won, uh, which isn't too bad, but we did finish last, um, which isn't the greatest. So, we'll probably be sitting at the back of the ship, no doubt. So, as you can see, you cannot see my Spartan whatsoever. Oh wait, 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 no you can't. He was sitting there. He was in there. He was in that ship. But yeah, did finish fourth, which is which is way unfortunate. Um 
well, we did finish the last, which is pretty unfortunate, but um, we're going to back out of all, all this because we did unlock two packs. We unlocked two red packs. So uh, we'll go ahead and open them. So um, with playing Warzone, um, you unlock two packs um, depending on how many legendary kills and that sector you get. Um, um, but we did unlock... Um, Two of them. We've got the da we've got the daily one, and we've got the fire fight daily one. Uh, we'll go ahead and open those. So go ahead and open this one. So I'm hoping for some armor. So we didn't get armor in that, but we did get a li um, 200 red points, um, a legendary warthog, a not so rare weapon, an uncommon weapon, and two common random weapons. So. We'll go ahead and open this one so hopefully we get some uh, good vehicles or at least some armor. Um, come on. No. But we did. We did get the uh, good weapons that we asked for so we've got two types of rail guns here. And we've got some wreck points. Um, um, rare active camo. And um, we've got a level 2 rare active camo. Um, we've got a legendary weapon, um, a common warthog, uncommon war zone stuff, and we've got an uncommon random vehicle. So we've got we now got ten thousand direct points. So uh, if we go to the store, I believe we can buy ourselves a gold pack. Why correct? Yes, we can. We can buy ourselves a gold pack. So we'll go ahead and. And buy a gold pack so hopefully we get some armor in this one or something good in this one yes we did we got we got a brand new helmet and we got a new camel for our pistol so we got lots of fire for our pistol we've got a new um, helmet we got a new um, emblem um, super combine. We've got um, an ultra rare arena boost. Mm -hmm. We've got ourselves uh, ultra, sorry. We've got ourselves a rare um, ghost. Um, rare needlers. Well, a rare needler. An uncommon needler. We've got a wraith, which is quite uncommon. Um, we've got another rare needler. An uncommon gun. We got ourselves another scorpion tank, which do come in handy, so we can use that again later on. And uh, we got ourselves an energy sword, a light rifle, and another random weapon. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. But anyway, I'm going to leave this video here, guys. This was Halo 5 Online. We will play Warzone. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more Halo 5 um, online, please let me know by commenting. Um, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button. That way you get notified of all my new and recent content. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy.